Hey friends, today I'm here to show you Christian Light Education Science 5. So if you're not familiar with Christian Light Education, it's a plain curriculum. And it has, for this, for the fifth grade science program in particular, which is one of the reasons I fell in love with it, it has only five light units. So a lot of their programs have 10 for science. I didn't want something with 10, I wanted something with five. So I was very, very happy about that. Uh, some of the Christian Light Education's old curriculum was old life packs. So for example, the third grade science has 10 light units and it's old life packs. So I would not get it for that reason because I actually do like life packs, but I would just get the life packs versus the old version that have no color and everything from CLE. So you kind of have to know what you're getting, but this particular grade level, the fifth grade, looks amazing to me and I'm very, very happy because it's not something that we have to do every day. And it has a beautiful textbook that I think is just the right amount of information. I just dropped some books there, so excuse that noise. And it's something that the kids can do independently. So I'm very excited to show this to you. Okay, so there is just an answer key, so there is no teacher guide. I love that too, because yeah, like I said, this can be done independently by the student. So we'll just start with this. It's the answer key. It has the answers. That's really self-explanatory, okay? And that's all you need. All right, so let's take a look at these light units. So in the middle of the light units, there is a test. So you want to pull that out. When you're done with the light unit, you give the child the test and see what they've learned. So very similar to Life Pack in that manner. Okay, now... It says here that they recommend that you do the experiments experiments in the textbook. Experiments help you understand better what the textbook is teaching, and they show that science isn't just in books, but is around us every day. And then it tells us right here, this light unit goes with pages two to 49 of God's Marvelous Gifts, the textbook for this level of science. Okay, and then it's broken down into lessons. Actually, let me go back here, because I wanna show you the lessons. All right, so it's broken down into these three sections into 15 separate lessons plus your test, okay? So there's 15 lessons in each light unit. So 15 times five is of course 75. And then we have the five tests, so that would be 80. So there's 80 lessons total for this science program, okay? A typical school year is 180 days versus only 80 science lessons. And this is right up my alley, okay? I'm just saying. All right, so um, section one covers light, night, firmament, clouds. Um, section two, water, earth, and planets. Section three, rock and mountains, oceans and seas, lakes and rivers. All right, and so then when we get to lesson one, it tells you some vocabulary and it says to pronounce these words to someone. So to make sure that they, they can actually say these words before they start reading. Then they're going to read chapter one in the textbook and make sure to look at the pictures and read the captions. And then, and then after they do that, they have some questions to answer. So after they read in their textbook, which I'll show you in a second, they're going to answer some questions. And then it comes down to right here and it says do the experiments. So there's two experiments in this lesson, but they're really short and easy. And then they're gonna answer a question and then they're gonna complete these sentences and fill in this information. And, and all of this is information they should have gleaned from the experiments, okay? So then we get into lesson two. Now they're gonna read chapter two, answer the questions. Answer these questions. There's no experiment in lesson two. Lesson three, there is in lesson three. So there's not gonna be every single day that they do science, there's not always an experiment, but a lot of times there is, but they're short and simple. And this, this lesson actually has an activity for the week because they're gonna be looking at the clouds and the rain and the snow for the week. Now this will be very easy where we live, nothing across the whole thing. <laughs> sun, 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 sun. <laughs> um, okay, and then after lesson five, it says use this checklist to prepare for quiz one and then tell your teacher when you're ready for the quiz. So that is what Lesson five is, is their quiz. And then they're gonna go to lesson six. So again, it just follows the same format, vocabulary, read in your textbook, answer the questions, do the experiment. If there is one, answer more questions. All right, so I'm just gonna flip through that real quick. 
Then let's take a look at what's in 502 as far as the topics being covered. We've got section one, grass, cacti, ferns, and mosses. Section two, flowers, vegetables, and herbs. Section three, seeds, leaves, and trees. Okay. So we'll just quickly go through this now that you see the, there's the test in the middle. Now that you see the format, I don't think we need to spend a ton of time going through the workbooks. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of labeling in this one because it's the parts of the flower and all of that. So that makes sense for what this is. Looks like on their quiz here, yep, they have to label the part of the flower. All right, and 503, let's take a look at this. We've got sun, moon, stars, constellation, comets, and meteors, spring, summer, autumn, winter. So this has to do with, you know, astronomy and the seasons. So I like how they're kind of all themed. And this, of course, was like botany. And this was, I already forget, what was this? Um, so earth science there. Kind of an overview, too, tying it in with, you know, God's creation of light and the firmament and all that. All right, so then this will be fun because we're going to learn about eclipses and tides, and we have a um, telescope, so that'll be super fun to use during this section. I mean, it's always fun to use, but especially during this section. Okay, so they're going to label the water cycle. So lots of labeling, lots of true and false, short answers, things like that. All right, let's see, 504. Okay, so now we're getting into animals. So we've got fish, amphibians, and reptiles, birds, and mammals, and insects. Okay, so that's pretty neat. So this is, I, I really like this because it's definitely a, like a general overview of science. And for fifth grade, I personally find that perfect because I feel like fifth grade, their, you know, their last year of elementary school, um, you know, until fifth grade, I kind of personally take a really light approach to science, a lot of hands-on, fun, you know, let's do some experiments and, you know, make a mess and that sort of thing. Um, and so they've already by this time picked up a lot of these things through that kind of experimental and hands-on learning. And so I think that fifth grade is like the perfect time to kind of have them do a little bit of more independent work in this field. And I think they're ready for it then. And I feel like um, this program does a really good job guiding them. Like I am, I'm, I haven't used it yet, obviously, but I, I already love it. I can just tell you that. Okay, section one. So this is the last light unit. Um, body, liquid of life, pump, control center, telegraphing system, and camera. So here we have human anatomy, looks like. Uh, telephone, a breather, grinder, and noisemaker, skeleton, go power cover. Just going to talk about your skin and your skeleton and all that. And food pipeline, storage tank, digestive tube, organ with many jobs, and filter system and air supplier. So I'm thinking about all my Esmeralda books that will go so perfectly with this. Um, again, same thing, same way. As far as how these are set up. Oh, man. Mm, I'm going to have to learn that, too. <laughs> oh, man. Parts of the brain, parts of the eye. But I don't feel like, even though this, this has, covers a lot of information, I don't feel like it's overwhelming. It's not bunched up on the page. Parts of the stomach? I have no idea what the parts of the stomach are. Hmm. But you know what, that's what I love about homeschool because if you didn't learn something, you can learn it right along with your kids or they'll teach it to you. Love that, when kids can teach you something, you know they know it, you learn something new, it's a great day. Okay, here is the textbook that goes along with, okay, I thought that was something, but that is just a scratch on the dresser. Okay, this is the textbook that goes with um, God's Marvelous Gifts, the Science Five for CLE. So let's take a look. Um, I really like this textbook too because of the way it's set up. It has this little student note and it's really sweet. And it says, as you observe, study, and experiment, you will come to realize God's greatness and his care for you. 
Without his gifts, you could not live. In six days, God gave his gifts to mankind. These gifts will sustain life until he creates new heavens and a new earth. I hope this book will encourage you to become more aware of God's marvelous gifts. And there's more, but... Okay, so as you can see, we got unit one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Unit two, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass. Hence why that's, you know, botany related. Unit three, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament. So that's like the astronomy like we talked about. And God created every little living creature, the animals. And God said, let us make man. And so there's the human anatomy. So don't you love how it ties in the scripture like that? I mean, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's just enough color and everything. I just, I really, really like this. Okay, so this is what a kid would read on one day. This would be one lesson. So it's not that much reading. Okay, and then there's these for you to do and um, the experiment. Now, I'm noticing that these for you to do, they're not specifically assigned in here. So, um, but they may take things from there and put them in here. So I guess you can kind of see if you want to assign those to your kids or not. Um, and then the experiment we have here. And then on the next page, um, we have another experiment. But see, these are real simple. So these are... Um, going to take, you know, just a minute or two to do. So even though there's two of them, it's not like this big, long, drawn-out thing. Okay, so then we've got uh, chapter two. See how short that is? I mean, it's just a nice enough amount of writing. Um, and then for you to do, and the activity here. Uh, so for, let's give you an example of this. So for you to do, uh, when was the world all darkness? How many hours are there in a night and a day? What does AM mean? What does PM mean? Look at these pictures of daytime and nighttime. List some ways they are different. Okay, so let's compare that, actually. I want to compare that to lesson two in here so we can see. Okay. So lesson two. So that's what this is. Lesson two. God gives us night. Okay. And they're going to read the chapter, and then they're going to answer these true or false questions. And then, what are some sounds you hear only at night? What are some sounds, things you see at night? And what time is a.m.? What time is p.m.? How many hours are there in one day? And living things need blank and blank in order to live and grow. So these are a bit different. So I, I can see, you can try to do it however you want. Like, because then it, so it says, when was the world all darkness? How many hours are there in a night and day? What does AM mean? What does PM mean? Look at the pictures of daytime and nighttime. List some ways they are different. Okay. Um, and then when does our day begin and why did God make a dark time? And then think about nighttime. What are some sounds you hear only during the night? Okay, so you can see that's right here. And what are some things you see only at night? Okay. That's there. And what are some things you may like to do that you can only do at night? Now, that is not on there. Okay. So, like I said, it pulls some of those things out and puts them in here. Okay. But you only have to do, your student only has to do what is assigned in here. Okay. I believe there is an additional alternative if you want to use without the light units and um, it said it was more appropriate for a classroom where they are using the textbook and there is like a teacher guide and it's more for a classroom setup okay but it said if you wanted independent work to go with the light units so that's why I chose that route okay but if you did want more of a classroom style learning you could use the textbook with the teacher guide, I believe. I'll link the website below so you can go read more about that. I'm just showing you what I got, okay? So then we got uh, unit three. I'm not gonna go through every unit, but I just kinda wanted to show you what this looks like, okay? And so, again, these experiments are not difficult. Now, um, Home Science Tools does sell a kit that goes along with this, and I am, really considering buying it because um, especially when you get into like the botany unit and things um, you know those materials that we might need um, yeah I just I think it would be really nice to just for my daughter to just have everything she needs 
and that way I don't have to worry about collecting it and she doesn't get hung up if I didn't collect something in time. <laughs> we all know how that goes, right? Yes, yes we do. Okay, so I'll just flip through this a little more. I feel like I was a bit all over the place in this video and so I apologize for that, but um, I'm just kind of thinking out loud as I'm going through this too. But as you can see, the, I mean, it is really well done. I'm, like I said, I'm really pleased with this. I think it is, I mean, it is exactly what I have been looking for in a science program for fifth grade. This is exactly what I wanted. And so I'm so happy to have found it. And so I hope this will help some of you as well because I know finding science programs can be difficult. Science is typically my nemesis, but I don't think it's going to be um, because this just looks fabulous. How cool is that? Um, anyway, I don't know if this, uh, I was just thinking, I wonder if this has Pluto as a planet. I don't know. Some of these older textbooks do, but I, I actually don't mind. I grew up learning about Pluto as a planet, and it just cracks me up that they demoted Pluto. Oh, how sad. Wow. Insects. I mean, as you can see, the pictures are, you know, they're they're out of date, but um, I don't really mind that. Okay, there's the glossary. So I hope that was helpful to you and Again, I'm going to put the information down below where you can check this out. And if you have any questions, let me know down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button if you are interested in all things homeschooling. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I always love to share curriculum with my friends, so definitely keep coming back because that's what I keep doing. <laughs> all right, everybody, I will talk to you soon.